Today we're checking out a mod that allows you to craft improvised weapons in DayZ. With this mod you can create three different weapons in the game and you can create two baseball bats as well. First of all I'm going to go through the improvised weapons you can make. So you can make a pistol which is this thing here. You can make a shotgun which is this thing here. And you can make a improvised SMG, which is this thing here. But first of all, we are going to go through how to make the improvised pistol. So to do this, you'll need a few different things. For this one, you'll need a pipe and scrap metal. So first of all, we need to take our pipe and take a hacksaw to it to be able to create a pistol barrel. And there's your pistol barrel there. Next of all, we need five scrap metal and some duct tape, which will be able to make our pistol grip. And then to make the body, we have to take the grip and the barrel and combine them together. And then we need to take some scrap metal and a pair of pliers, which will give us our pistol trigger and hammer. And then once we have that done, we need to take these two, the trigger and the body, and combine them to be able to give us a improvised pistol. And there we have it. Our improvised pistol is ready to go. Now this thing takes 357. As far as I know, it's using Derringer animations by the looks of it. Could be wrong about that. We're going to run over to tents and test this out in a couple of Zeds. So it does seem to be quite powerful as well. I'm assuming it's using whatever uh, damage it takes from whatever model it's taking the animations from. Probably Derringer. But it does actually work quite well. Nice. I could see this mod being used on some servers. It's a shame that this mod at the moment doesn't come with it, an assault rifle or a sniper rifle. I don't know if they're going to add ones down the road, but it'd be cool if they did. For the simple fact, I could see a server running a mod like this and removing, say, every other weapon that is on the server, you know, that spawns, and just using nothing but improvised weapons that you actually have to make. It would really add a, a unique hardcore aspect to a server, I think, anyway. But it'd be interesting to see if somebody does that down the road. Now let's go and make the shotgun. For the shotgun, it's the same materials. Apart from you need some wood with this one to be able to create the body of the shotgun. So with this one, we need to make two pistol barrels. So again, we need a hacksaw and we need to combine them with pipes to be able to make two pistol barrels. Is one and then we'll take the other. And there we have our two pistol barrels. And now we need to combine them together to be able to make a shotgun barrel. And there is our shotgun barrel. And now we need to be able to make a shroud. So we need some planks and a hacksaw. You can use any sharp object or you can use wooden logs as well, whichever you have available. And there's the shroud. And now we combine these two together to get the barrel assembly. And once we have that together, we need more wooden planks and a hacksaw again. And we need to create the shotgun grip, which we now have there. And we need 10 scrap metals plus some pliers to be able to make a uh, shotgun triggers and now we need to take the shotgun grip and 15 scrap metal to be able to make the frame of the shotgun and then we take the frame of the shotgun uh, which is this and the triggers and we combine them together and it'll give us the frame with triggers and then we need to take the grip and barrel assembly and then we need to create the shotgun it says create smg for some reason but we are actually creating the shotgun and there we have it. Our shotgun is ready to be tested. This one does actually seem to have animations from the blaze. And it also has the same sound effects as well. There's a couple more Zeds over here. We'll try and get these ones. So as you can hear, it does have uh, blaze sounds, which is going to be quite distracting uh, for any players that are coming up against it oh he tanked that shot yeah that's the only thing that is a little bit interesting about this shotgun is that it does have blaze sound effects which uh i can see being a bit confusing to some players especially if you're running into it so that is something i hope they do change down the road but let's go on now and make the final gun which will be the smg so, again, we need a pipe and a hacksaw. We need to create an SMG barrel this time. And we have that done. And then we need to take some five scrap metal and a spring. And we create an SMG bolt. The spring you do find around the map. It spawns with other stuff. 
And there is some screws as well that you can see on the ground. You do also find them around the world. Uh, they do spawn. Then we need to combine the barrel and the SMG bolts together. Which will give us the barrel width bolt. Which is this. Looking good. Then we need to create an SMG grip. Which is hacksaw, wood. And we can create the grip. Which is that there. And then we need 15 scrap metal and some screws to be able to create the SMG frame. It's 10 screws in total we need for this. And then we take the frame, which is this here, and the grip, and we combine these together. And then we put the body and the barrel together, which will give us the improvised SMG. And then last but not least, we need 10 scrap metal, and we need another spring, and we're able to create the SMG magazine. And then we have our magazine along with our pistol. So our SMG can leave that there. Leave the SMG there. This does take 380 rounds, so the same as the Scorpion. As far as I know, or as from what I can tell anyway, it does seem to have Scorpion animations and sound effects. And we'll go over again and try and test this out on some Zeds. Oh, and here come all the rest of the Zeds. Now this does fire in full auto as well. You would have seen that at the start of the video. It is pretty effective, especially with headshots anyway. Against the body, it can be a little bit uh, worse, as you can see. It takes about three to five shots, depending, to be able to kill a Z to the body. But again, pretty cool weapon. I do like it. And then this one where we have some spikes and it basically makes a spiked baseball bat. So I'm going to take out the spiked one and we'll see what it's like against a couple of Zeds. I'm expecting this to be a one hit and if it's not, we're going to have some problems. All right, let's see how this works. Oh, this thing sucks. Oh my God, it's terrible. Okay, that thing is absolute trash. Wow. Okay, these baseball bats suck. They don't even, like... You're basically still punching with your fists. That's kind of annoying. I thought it would be, like, the actual bat, and you could just, you know, punch it that way. But, yeah, that is the improvised weapon mod. It's pretty cool what they have done so far. I'm not a fan of the bats, but the actual, uh, you know, weapons themselves, the guns, are quite cool. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. I'd like to see them do an assault rifle and a sniper rifle at some stage. I think that'd be really cool. Have the full set and then people can really use this mod for some cool stuff. But yeah, I do like it. I will leave all the links for it down below if he has, you know, the Steam link and any Discord links or whatever he has. They'll all be in the description down below if you want to check it out. And until then, I shall catch you guys in the next one. So, peace out for now.